What's up, YouTube? It's the Zebra Guy, or Marty, or however you want to know me as. Um, welcome back to another video. So, thank you for joining me. We are doing another gaming one, and this time it's a game that I've recently played on the Xbox Game Pass. So, this is the second one to it, and it was fun. It was fun being a barista and hearing all the stories. Now, I'm a big stan for Myrtle and Aqua, so hopefully, they return in this one. Because their story was amazing. Being the nerd or geek that I am, of course that one was going to take my interest. There are other storylines, there are, but I am a nerd geek. So their story was more interesting to me. So um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Coffee Talk. Now, like I said, I've recently played the first one over on Game Pass. And I've really enjoyed it. I spent a good few days playing through it. So a couple of hours here and there. And I spent a few days playing it. And I love it. So the second one recently came out. I think it was last week. Excuse me. So this one's called Coffee Talk. Episode 2. Hibiscus and Butterfly. So we're going to jump into it. And um, hopefully have a bit of fun with it and enjoy it so um yeah let's go over to the game and let's go and see some parts of the story so here we are we are at coffee talk episode two hibiscus and butterfly so yeah let's jump in i am playing this on steam so not on the xbox like the first one was so this one's on steam so, yeah, let's go check it out. Again, by, yeah. <laughs> Seattle 2023. Oh, there we go. That's um, nice and up to date. A city of enduring loneliness. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive and not just survive. Not just to survive. It is time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive now with this there are lots of different monsters beings and all that so it's just monsters and humans all living together and this cafe only opens at night time well it did in the first one so these beings had a safe place to come and just relax and you know all of that is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged all classific classification law are confronted by those who are striving for fairness. For the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgment. Acceptance is the battle and, ident and identity is a luxury that I just began to grasp. So this is um, the art. Now I like this intro. I do. It gives nice a lot of it's in depth. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing. And the world becomes fast paced with increased con connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it, it is to help or further isolate them. Well, I'm always in front of the screen, so it doesn't isolate me. It's always a bit of fun. As some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights. A night blooming coffee shop stands between the rainy street that finds a small respite through a cup of warm drink. Now I enjoy this, I really do. And these are their stories. Now give me Aqua and Myrtle and I'll be happy. So here we go, Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. We're not there yet. We're not, we're not too far, but we're not there yet. So, always start the day with the newspaper. Massive job loss as large companies move out of state. What's next? And then we've got the Seattle West um, Precinct Police are losing a record number of officers in January. Okay. Social experiments, skirting between entertainment and I can't see the rest of it. 
So let's start. Here we go. I guess this will go on for a while. Now I'd like, to, if you haven't played the first one, you need to, but there is a twist at the end which I was absolutely shocked. Like, I didn't even know that myself, but it was brilliant. So if you've got Game Pass or Steam, go buy it yourself on Steam, or if you've got Game Pass, go grab the first one and play through that before you play the second one. Then you'll get to understand the characters and what's going on. So in front of us we do have Officer jo Georgie, he was in the first one. He's the um, officer that are on the beat around the area. Welcome. Evening, Marty. Well, thank you. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is, I'd say, the power lines. <laughs> Probably, yeah. What about them? Oh, heck. Oh. That's a concern. The power has kept going on and off all night. Our machines can't even heat up properly. That's bad. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. I'll take your order as soon as machines are ready. No problem. Oh, yeah. Freya isn't here yet. So Freya is the character that is always, always in the cafe. And she is a writer, as you can see here. So there we go. You mean Freya. The one and only. Unless she's changed her hair colour, then my bad. It's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh, why? She's currently on research trip for her new book. Ooh, okay, so there's a new book for Freya. At least that's what she told me. That's too bad. The evenings won't be the same about her. They won't. I admit, it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while to have some time to herself yeah i would absolutely agree because she looked an absolute wreck in the first one that was spoiler i do apologize but like i said do go and play it so we're not looking too good yeah i've already been notified by the city the light department they said they're monitoring the area just in case oh okay if anything happens i'll lend you my trusty lighter Always good with a lighter. Never turn down using a lighter for a bit of light. I got it from my grandfather, a lucky charm of sorts. Never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it to light up. Unless you need it lit up for longer than 10 seconds. Alright, so that, there's, the, there's the problem. It needs to be more than 10 seconds. Yes, it is the thought that counts. Oh, okay. I've, I've always thought coppers did carry flashlights, but I'm guessing in this one they don't. But where's the thrill in that? Sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever? Goodness, finally. Thanks for waiting. I'll take your order now. So what's he going to have? We're going to have an espresso? Alright, so he's already done, so no coffee. Oh, a new selection of tea. No, I didn't know there was new tea in this. We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? <laughs> oh, blue pea. It's actually butterfly pea. That sounds wrong, but it's spelt the way that it should be. But we call it blue pea for short. The colour is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you'd offered alternative stuff. No judgement here, just saying. Alternative what? Oh. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. And know whatever else you thought it was. <laughs> sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule. Of course. No dairy for Officer George. Georgie. Okay, here we go. I'm sure you have all the info written down on your phone already. So we're going to press X. So if we click here, we get to see their profile. So there's Georgie. So we are going to start building up. Oh, so we still have Rachel. 
Okay, so we still have all the old ones. That's cool. There's our fryer right at the bottom there. So here's our brew pad. This way you get to see all the drinks. We've got cafe latte, cappuccino, dark chocolate, espresso, green tea, and matcha. So we haven't unlocked the other ones yet. So what we're going to do, we're now going to unlock one. I want to say yes, but some of my notes went missing. Yeah, there we go. That's why I couldn't figure it out. Better write down everything you can remember then. Speaking of remembering, Briar actually left me something for you. Is that so? Then I'll have one of the new teas. I'll leave. The choice up to you. Just keep it simple. So let's go with... Why can't I... I only have coffee. Okay, not what I want. I want a tea, please. Ah, oh, there we go. So let's go with... Blue pea. And... Now let's just go with blue pea. And let's brew. Graphics looks like it's had a little bit of um, an update. Better give Freya stuff to Officer Georgie now before I forget. So let's give the item. So we've got some new stuff, which is pretty cool. It's like the new options. And let's serve up. Yes, Officer Georgie, it is a postcard. Is she bragging at me or something? Oh, hmm. Oh, what is it? It appears she left me a message. What does it say? Nothing for you to worry about. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Oh, thanks for this. Give her my regards. You're welcome, and I will. All right, here you go. Oh, this stuff really... Is this stuff really safe to drink? I don't know, but I would like to try it anyway. I assure you it's completely safe to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with you. Okay. Usually people put lemon in it. Oh, that's the, that's the one that changes purple, I think, for it is. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. Oh, I remember my youngest showed me a video of something like that. You know, she really into new agey health stuff. I remember she made me a drink from Blue Out. Uh, below my cholesterol, she said. Problem was, it tasted like that. It, yeah, it would do. Still drank it all, though. Not so to think of her dad's health. Yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'll stick with coffee. Well, you've just asked for tea, so you're not going to stick with coffee, are you? But this one, I don't mind at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. What's a lightning? What a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My uncle says has just finished all her makeup exams. Oh, okay. We found out that for some reason or other she's been neglecting her studies. Oh, that's not good. Well, let's just say I had a few things to say about that. Well, I would do the same as well. So, good on you. How did it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through in the end. Yeah, she did. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Oh, resolve it. Like you said in the first one, you have to resolve it. The missus planned to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids' favourite dishes. Having her sisters over for dinner and all of that. So I'm buying the dessert pie as an olive branch of sorts. Yeah, that's a good way. 
But as you can see, I got no pie and I'm nowhere near home because of the storm. That and my car's busted. Oh, that sucks. All the valve cores removed and tires deflated. Ooh. Oh, there's some vandalisms. Ah, oh, shit. That's a whole other thing to that's going. Rest easy though. We're on it. For now, I need to find my way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. Oh, who's coming? Is that Bailey? That looks like Bailey's. By Zeus, what a disaster. Welcome. Hey, it was shaking. Even a pot. What's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? No, actually, I like thunderstorms. So, they're calming to me. Just like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill. That's how I used to see it as a kid. I'm glad you're open, though. Or else I'll be super soaked by now. Have you made it in time? Would you like anything to drink? Something warm, something to warm you up? That would be great, yeah. Oh, this is Lucas. Now, I thought this was Bailey's because they look similar. Yeah, I'm Martin. That is me. Or the Zebra guys you can see down there. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pop. Can I call you Pop? Fine by me. Sweet. Georgie, you need to get going, mate. Alright. Be back. Wish me luck. Good luck, Georgie. See ya. Now, like that's meant to say Gucci. That's a good way of writing it. Can I get a cafe latte? So let's just go over here and double check how to do a cafe latte. Coffee, milk, milk. You tell me you're the pro. Huh? Okay, okay hear me out. You see, I used to like coffee. Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it, you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 we know what coffee does to people. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. What is it you miss about coffee? The caffeine, of course, but, uh, and just the overall boldness. You know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? No, I like matcha. Nope. But isn't that just green tea? Yeah, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Let's have a look at the matcha. So we've got green tea, milk, milk. So we go green tea milk milk let's brew it up now that looks cool now i'm not going to try and do um latte up because i absolutely poop at that i've tried that on the first one so let's serve this up thank you for waiting thanks oh don't mind if i do What do you think? Not bad. But when you said concentrated, I expected it to taste bolder. It's the latte version, so maybe that's why it's mild. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. Oh well, thanks anyway. Okay, maybe I should have put two more. So, does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there is, like, no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Oh. Maybe our crowd isn't big on... As big as the usual coffee shop. Since we opened quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys close anyway? We're open until morning. For real? That's pretty heckin' late. Now, I use the word heckin' all the time, so I'm glad to see that in here. 
Do you turn into a secret bar after? Like 2am or something? No. If we did, Officer Georgia over there would have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Oh, Lucas, we can't all be bars, mate. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. The late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Yes. Hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course you can. Stay as long as you'd like. Sweet, thanks. Can I give you a shout out on my stories if you want? Stories? See, now we need to get into the social media stuff. I took a photo and posted it moments ago. That was fast. Oh. I was going to tag your place here. Do I have an account there? But I haven't seen this feature before. Okay. So this is pretty new. You can check on people's updates. Just open the stories tab inside the app. Like we did earlier. So we saw that Freya was... Bit delayed. Better check it daily though because the stories only last a day. Who knows, maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers. That's a bit... <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, people will post anything. That is true. Kidding, I'm usually more active on my tube channel. This is where this is going, as you can tell. But hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? Yes, go on then. But I'm curious what to do exactly. Your post already seems to have lots of reaction for a new feature. Alright, I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. A report on the hottest trends. That's all good. And everything else in between. Yeah, I get that, that's cool. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price, you can. Oh, never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They help keep me on brand, so to speak. Since they said I can get too crazy sometimes. I, I get it. I know how that feels. Whatever that means. Oh lordy. Come on, Georgie, come back. Welcome back, Pops. Thanks. Is everything alright? Kind of. The missus is not happy. Maybe we should try calling a cab. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? Been calling them a while. I was still on the lookout earlier. Okay. One and a half hours later, here I am. Jeez, that storm. There were no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering online? <laughs> Did you not see my phone? The only order I can do is... No noms from around the corner from my house. Touché. Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. Eek. Nope, now it's not. Spoke too soon. I retract my statement. Yes. Yes, I do. For what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Want to borrow my lighter then? Attempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to check on something though. I'll be right back. Okay, good luck. Oh no, poor Lucas. Are you alright? Hey, yeah, everything's peachy. Oh no, is he scared of the dark? Poor thing. I just thought I'd be in the dark so much. No. Oh. What, are you scared of the dark? Duh. You never know who might jump out at you. He's, he's right. Oh, we're in a room. Still. Do you feel scared at all? Of course not. I do night patrols. All the time. If I can grab them, I can handle them. In theory. I don't know how to feel about that at all. Ah, oh, heck. Calm down, Lucas. You'll be fine. I swear I heard something just now. Oh, heck. Even that scared me. <laughs> Their facial expressions are amazing. Hi?
I'm back. Sorry about that, everything should be good for now. Oh great. Welcome. Can I place my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have all the usual fare. Coffee, tea and herbal drink. I'd like something soothing for my throat. And for my mind. Tough day at work. If you have no particular drink in mind, may I suggest trying our new ble blue tea latte? Blue tea latte, hmm. Could you make it pretty? Ah! You have to make me do latte art. Okay, let's try it. I'm not going to do much because... There. That's about as good as it's going to get. I don't know what it is, but that's what I'm doing. Yes, it's blue. But rest assured, it is all natural. I see, it's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good, thank you. You are very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yes, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just wait until the storm is over. Well, about that. The news said the storm will continue until midnight, at the very least. What? Ah, oh, poor Lucas. Would have been nice if I had my if I had my car. There are several road closures due to flooding. God damn it! So basically, you're saying we're stuck. Afraid so, at least for a for a little while. I'm in deep trouble. Yeah, you are. You are going to be in deep trouble. What's wrong with your car? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining that earlier. I have a question. Just didn't want to alarm you. His tyres got flattened. For real? Yep. There have been some vandalism around the around recently. Somebody keeps removing valve cores and deflating the tyres from parked cars around the West Precinct. Hmm. Why? Maybe someone is a collector. Or got too much time on their hands. No clue. Anyhow, our station lot is getting very reprieved. So a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's cards get affected too? Nope. Just mine. Oh. Oh dear. Maybe because no real damage is done, other than wasting my time. Though my co-workers aren't so cool about it. The recent mass resignations have left us severely understaffed. Oh, that's up. Additionally, companies are moving away due to attack type. So there's, there are protests happening, which means tensions are high all around. That doesn't sound good. Then I know it. Anyway, we caught the culprit on CCTV. So we're looking into starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it just be a prank? You think? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would land elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. I apologise about that. That is my phone. I forgot to turn, turn the volume down. So give me a second. There we go. Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, would, would, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own genre online, you know. People watch that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, of course they do. It's all about cheap thrills and a good way to make money too if you play your cards right. Oh, the crazier your shtick, the more views you get, which means more ad money. Now the rinse repeat until you until you push them just a bit too far. And then you get, get the nuke and everything will just... We know that. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again though. 
because really, if you need to get started, it's a camera, phone, Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. Ooh, maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Ah, heck. Ah, oh, Lucas. You are funny. High risk, high reward and opportunity with a low entry barrier. Sounds like something else. Oh yeah. Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh. It's a long story. Been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, views are declining for one. Why not enough pranks? Harsh. Now I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. So people don't like change? No, they do not. That's right. Yeah, they're bored easily too. Today's a good... Good might be trash tomorrow. So it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. Yeah, I know that one. I know about views going up and down. I've been there. I guess you can say that. Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I was unable to avoid overhearing you. Well, no, you're literally two seats down. It's alright. I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Do you think your audience is always right? Of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? That's true. You shouldn't always give them what they want. It's what you feel like is always good. Why must I follow their whims? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even 10 or 100 still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands, millions, not so easy. Yeah, I know that one. So my belief is, if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. Nope. Why do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to. I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it is only fair. I admit that I am not a big fan of online activities. I find people, people's conduct, um, they're very loathsome. That's a strong word. That's a long word as well. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online in preparation of my audition as a soprano. A soprano, really? That's cool. Can I see it? I took it down. I believe she's getting, she's getting to a kid. Right, okay. It was something done out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home. Since I have no previous theater experience to show. Even so, I did post it, post it to the video site, mainly to add the link to my application. Though I'm not sure if it helped at all, as my attempts have yet to yield results. Ooh. However, one day my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite re rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What did they say? I highly recommend that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. It was, yeah, that can happen. The comment section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions, if they can even call that. What? That's where a lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. Ooh, question my sanity of knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. Oh, I'm guessing she's a siren. And where my handler was. Oh, since there is no such thing, 
Oh, she's a banshee. Okay. I thought Siren. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication app in place. Those pieces of shit still exist. Yeah, I'm going to call it pieces of shit and not POS, but that's because I can. The Vindication Act. A global treaty to recognise the sincerity and rights of... Okay. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. You know the type. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but we're all born male. Oh, so these species are all male. Well, it took us a while to finally get recognised by international law. Since the further... I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Other than unfamiliar with our existence, it's not surprising to us. Still, doesn't make it right. It doesn't. Nope, you look stressed. Oh, that's Gary. Calm down, please. No, I do wonder why people are us. And... Oh, even more scarier. Oof. Damn. Not again. Just a second, please. Oh, okay. Sit in silence is scary. Oh, thank goodness. Hmm. It's just not right. That kind of behaviour is just not right. It's not. I'm sorry, I've gone too far. It's alright. I admit, I just don't want to hear that the audience is always right. They're not. They're not always right. So, you know, you're fine. How about if I help you? Look, I get what you're going through. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables on them. How? Easy. you got to sell yourself. Well, kids, slow down. It might be lax. Not that kind of sell. Jeez, Georgie. She's not going on OF, don't worry. Which means no matter what you do, or how hard you'll try, you'll always be an outliner. outlier. Therefore, you must just complete base on your skills alone. Yeah, he's right. Lucas is right. Wait, hear me out. You've got one awesome thing. All those siren, sirens don't have. A story. Yes. Everyone has a story. Lucas is right here. That is a very good narrative. I'd love to, of course, but honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. He is right. Yes, he is. Ah, oh, Lucas, you're a good kid. Go on, take it up. Nope. 
He's trying to get your story. So how are you supposed to consider everything you said? When you don't even know my name. Well, what is your name? Come on. Ah, oh, ah, oh, Lucas. The storms needs to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Come back soon. Oh, Riona. Hey, Riona, the Banshee. We hope to see you again. I conversationally took an odd turn. So let me make this point. All the words you spoke earlier, I feel you were actually intended for me. Take care. Oh. Poor boy. Sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man's still trying to figure out what just happened. I am, to be honest. Don't know what came over me. I get too hyped up sometimes and lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. It's my manager. The road closure is over, so he's picking me up. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off at wherever. No problem. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Georgie. Guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. No, it's nothing. Okay then, see you soon. Have a safe trip. Bye, Zs. Well, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready just to call it a day. Yeah. As soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair. Oh, please. You know I don't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listen to those two. Got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my young youngest daughter. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your child's ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's a fine line to, to tread. It's the missus. You know what? I think I better go. At least if she hears rain outside, she'll get, get less mad at me. Please try not to get sick. Yes, Georgie, we don't need you to be sick. You take care on closing. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. See you soon. Well, I think that is the end of the first part. Oof. What a day. Better clean up and then... Huh? What's this? An old metal lighter with an interesting design carved in it. That's Georgie's. He left it. Better keep it safe over here. It exudes an interesting feel. Yeah, let's keep it in the drawer. Okay, let's wrap this up. So, we are going to wrap that up as well. So, we're not going to continue. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go over here. Right, that was the first part of Coffee Talk. Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterflies. Now, I enjoyed that. It was very in-depth. So, if you like these sort of stories, you know, you get to make coffee, teas, and then you just get to read through a whole story. This is something for you. I would recommend it, but I would recommend first playing Coffee Talks, the first one. If you've got it on Game Pass, give it a try. Just do it. It's fun. So, yeah, this has been Coffee Talk Episode 2. I've enjoyed it. Maybe a bit too much. So I'm going to continue playing it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been the Zebra Guy Marty. And I'll see you in another video.